Hey guys, Derek here with Bleepin' Jeep, and today I'm going to show you how to blow smoke up your tailpipe. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this smoke machine to help diagnose things on your Jeep. Um, some of the things you can diagnose with it are an exhaust leak like I'm doing here, and I'll show you in a second where the leak is. Um, or you can diagnose vacuum leaks, you can diagnose in intake leaks, and you can see leaks in your valves and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see there's a pretty major leak. I think that's gonna cause me a little bit of a noise. Okay, so the parts that I use to build the smoke machine are a one pint paint can, some sort of epoxy, a heating element, I use a cheap soldering iron, and then a couple hose barbs. They can be whatever size, and then some tubing. You'll need like a bike pump or something because you don't need a lot of pressure, just a little bit of air movement to push the air through the vacuum system to find the leaks. I built a smoke machine out of a pint paint can before and I learned a couple things from it so we're gonna do things differently this time. I'm actually going to try to reinforce the lid because it leaked too much. If it leaks too much then the smoke's not gonna do any good. You can use rags or some sort of 100% cotton. What I used was Tiki Torch wicks with the baby oil and that works pretty good. And I made these discs with a three and a quarter inch hole saw. And that actually, it gives me a center hole in the right size with the plug that came out of it to fit right on top of the pint paint can. All right, so there it is, my heavier duty lid. I'm gonna let the epoxy set up and then we'll move on to the next step. So I drilled three half inch holes the center one is going to be for the heating element, which is our starting iron. The other two I'm going to tap, quarter inch pipe thread tap, so I can thread my fittings in there, but they'll also be epoxied or sealed in some way so that they won't leak. The fittings are in and sealed. Now we need to attach the heating element, which is going to be our cheap soldering iron. I think we'll just epoxy it down. Try not to, don't want it to touch. I want to leave space around it. So I got this all assembled. I got my heating element in. I bent this so that I have like a little more surface area for the cloth to uh, press against so that It'll make more smoke, clear nylon tubing, and I'll attach it here. Show you guys what I use to move the smoke into the system so we can diagnose. I think I'm gonna try rags this time. And we'll just set those in there, a couple of them. Let's see if that's enough. I used the Tiki Torch wicks before. They're actually designed to not smoke mineral oil or baby oil. Mineral oil just doesn't have that scent to it. Let it soak up into the rags. Okay, so this is the setup. A bike pump. Any bike pump will do. You just need like a little adapter for floaties and stuff to adapt it to the tubing. And then to this, or my other one actually has the little um, valve stem that I took the valve core out of and it just pumps in there but I wanted to go with a bigger fitting this time to get a little more volume through it and I do recommend the foot pump that way you can move things around with your hand because when we go to the Jeep I'll show you um, how to use it to, to diagnose different things but see it makes smoke it works so let's go to the Jeep normally you would take this little green cap off of here and then there's a Schrader valve inside and you take the Schrader valve out to pump the smoke into the vacuum system. 
but I can't get the Schrader valve out so I came over here and disconnected my um, vacuum ball for the AC system and I'm going to pump it through here and we're going to see if we have any other leaks anywhere else. So as I'm pumping, I'm looking all around the engine for the smoke to come out. I didn't have any other leaks that I could find so I made one. And then this could cause a lean running condition, it can cause it to die, it can cause it to misfire, it can cause a lot of things if you have a, a big vacuum leak. Okay guys, that's it. It's a uh, smoke machine. It's a pretty handy little tool to have around. You can find leaks in your uh, weather stripping or around your windows, windshields, stuff like that. You can find leaks in your exhaust system. You can find leaks in your vacuum system. Um, basically, your engine's a big air pump, so leaks on either side can be a problem um, with random misfires and give you kind of weird issues with idle and running problems so um, it's a pretty cheap uh, handy tool to have around thank you guys for watching uh, I hope this helped you out a lot if you if Bleep and Jeep has ever helped you then um, consider supporting us on patreon uh, check us out on social media face the Bleep and Jeep Facebook page or uh, Bleep and Jeep approved on Instagram I will see you guys next time